The following is an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. It's eight of baseball's greatest sluggers in the ultimate game of power and crime. Who'll be this year's star among the legends of long ball? Sosa wants to recapture his crown. And baseball's single season home run king goes for the title of Home Run Derby Champion. Hit it hard. Back it up the floor. Hit it hard. Back it up the floor. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. Welcome to our home run derby. It's a night of fun and marveling, certainly, in the Titanic blast. For all you baseball fans here, for all you baseball fans across America, for all you baseball fans across the world, ESPN is proud to welcome our broadcast team for the home run derby as well. Say hello to one of the great second basemen of all time, Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, sitting along the third base dugout. And a soon-to-be Hall of Famer, one of the great catchers this game has ever known. Met Dodger and, oh yes, Florida Marlin. Do you remember? Yes, Mike Piazza. You fans here in Milwaukee, you fans all over Wisconsin, are you ready to unfreeze the frozen tundra? Are you fans up here behind home plate? Are you ready back there? You fans down the left field line, are you ready up there? You fans down the right field line and in right center field, are you ready up there? Are you ready for some long ball? We thought so. Let's meet our eight combatants. Sorry for the pun. Tonight, batting first from the Chicago White Sox with 20 homers and 71 ribbies at the break already, Paul Canerco. <laughs> batting second at six foot seven. He's a must see every time he comes to the plate. 45 homers last year, 19 this year, from your Milwaukee Brewers, Richie Saxon! That's what we call the home crowd advantage, huh? From the amazing first place Minnesota Twins, a nightly high right reel in the outfield, 20 homers at the break, Tory Hunter. From 
down the road a piece at Wrigley. Only eight times has it been a 60 home run season. He's got three of them. 66, 63, and 64. 28 this year means he'll be at 500 by Labor Day from the Chicago Cubs. Sandy, say it ain't so sad. What a show we put on in the Home Run Derby last year in Seattle. MVP of the American League two years ago, second in the voting last year in Oakland. Now at first base for the New York Yankees, 22 homers at the break, batting fifth tonight, Jason Jambi. You got a rough crowd here, dog. One of the true rising stars from the Houston Astros. 55 doubles last year, the most ever by a switch hitter in the major leagues. Oh, by the way, he leads the majors this year in homers with 29 from the Strohs, Lance Berkman. Okay. He's breaking all the shortstop records every swing, but that's only the beginning. 40 or more homers the last four years, including 52 last season. 27 already this year from the Texas Rangers, Alex Rodriguez. What's up, big man? Good luck. So you know who's hitting dead last because last season he put together one of the greatest single season batting performances of all time, which is why he won his fourth and unprecedented MVP. 73 home runs. Are you kidding me? 27 this year means he's six shy of 600 from the San Francisco Giants. Gentlemen, let the long ball begin. Coming up, Sammy Sosa. And the single season home run king, Barry Bonds, against the field of baseball's greatest sluggers in the Century 21 Home Run Derby. presentation of the 2002 Century 21 Home Run Derby brought to you by Century 21, the official real estate organization of Major League Baseball, and in part by eTops.com, where your love for sports can pay dividends, and Toyota, get the feeling. Well, they're revved up here in Milwaukee, guys, and the beauty of the Home Run Derby is that there aren't a lot of rules. However, as we look at a hot, humid day in which Mike and Joe will tell us the balls are traveling here at Miller Park. Joe and Mike, I don't think you knew if this part of the rule book existed. Now, look, let's open it up. It's a page you haven't read, Joe. <laughs> rule 1101, swing hard, right, in this thing. Every swing is a home run or an out, right? So it's real simple. You know, those are pretty simple rules, don't you think, Joe? Well, they're pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a simple contest. I think we're going to see a lot of big flies tonight. Mike, you took batting practice, yeah. obviously, with the National League. What did you, what'd you feel? Well, in the immortal words of Walt Reniac, <laughs> it's a shooting gallery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ball was just jumping out of here. I, I was astounded. I mean, uh, you know, you, with some balls that are hit off the scoreboard, I call it the dartboard now because I think <laughs> balls are going to be bouncing off that thing. I think Sammy Sosa took a chip way out of the top of the scoreboard. Bonds was prepping it. But you know what? We're going to start with Paul Canerco, who maybe not so quietly anymore, with 20 homers and 71 RBIs, guy that any came back, of yeah. age uh, a couple of years ago in the White Sox weather division, but he's yeah, a better hitter now, hit Joe, wouldn't he? Well, he's become a, a much better hitter in that I think he's learned a lot being he's in right down Chicago, the going the That's other way a little bit. You know, he's uses the entire field now, whereas before he's pretty much a full hitter in the National League. Yeah. He's a legitimate triple crown candidate, no question in my mind. And he's developed uh, hitting keys all over the field, other way. Great opposite field power, as Joe mentioned. So remember, a swing is either a home run or an out. Oh. 
Good oh, God. He's on the board. I don't know if you could say break the ice, maybe break the humidity, right? I don't like Please. to bring this up, Mike, but I was calling uh, the home run contest when before you became a broadcaster. I know. And I was still waiting for you to get one. That's why I became a broadcaster, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a fly, but that even in this hazy sky, that's not gonna get there. So all eight guys have the ten outs and the top four move on to the second round, regardless of league. It's really that simple. Ah. Now we should point out right that a 480 foot homer and a 360 foot homer count the same. Well they count the same but they're not the same in this contest. Well, you get a little more a few more oohs and ahs for the long one like that. <laughs> this one's going back to left back 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 and oh man. See if this one just barely goes over you're not going to hear as much. Excitement as you hear it They on might that change one. the rules next year. Anything that scrapes the back of the wall may not count. <laughs> <laughs> Distance matters. We got out there, Muggsy, Gary Allenson pitching, one time Red Sox catcher. Is that his well, So, secret catchers throw the best BP, right? Normally they do. You're exactly yeah. right. Well, they, they're used to sitting the ball up behind their ear, and you can see it out of their hand very well. About him, we're going to catch so many of these shots of the players sitting down like little leaguers, the all stars, you know, just watching, kind of waiting for the big show. Don't you feel, Mike and Joe? I mean, it's kind of one of the nicest sights we see all year. The players sitting out, maybe many of them with their youngsters, many of them just kind of meeting new teammates for the first time. This one down the left field and gone. I got to play easy with this guy. Oh, wow. So three for Canerco, and he's got five outs to go. This one should go to left. Back it goes. Got the stroke. That's one. it. His first time too. He's making a great show. And usually, uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> take it from me. First time. <laughs> it's usually the toughest. <laughs> that one was absolutely powdered. You know, it's not that far from Milwaukee to Chicago. You think he's going home with that pitch? He's trying to get the glass there. A hockey player. <laughs> Have the last. He may have it. <laughs> there you go. You're the baseball there you slot, Mike Piazza. Wow. Now you're gonna tell me that one doesn't get more oohs and ahs than a 360 oh, footer. <laughs> I know that, Joe. Oh, is this state fair? Oh. Missed it by that much. That looked like an Al McGinnis that, slap that shot. Off the loss. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. Sixth home of the one off the glass went 473, no. boys. That's me right there. Yeah, but that's just warming up. I know. We will have one longer. Who's your longest one, Mike? Do you know? Mm, I think I had one that was 490. Yeah, I did that see, all weekend uh, right there. That and, was that, good. and you had about three or five that were got three. under it just a little. <laughs> <laughs> How about yours, Joe? Uh, we're not. I'm not. I was one of those scrapers you're talking. Right, but they all counted the they same. Count, you uh, see. Well, in the game they do, but not in the home run derby. Yeah, I'm not to bug you. <laughs> no, <laughs> just missed. I can't go over there. Panerko said he can't go in the right center. That's right. Joe, you used to be able to hang some laundry on your shots. Well, some lines. Yeah. Oh man, that pummeled the. Pummel the wall. So he's got one more out, if you will. One more non home run to add to the total of six. <sighs> Tell you what, though, that's a pretty good start when you're the first guy out of the shoots with six for Paul Canerco. Getting some high fives from his teammate. Bring Rich Eisen's out. got good wheels. Going to catch up All with right. him. Richie. All right, Paul. Apparently those people up there liked the air conditioning. You nearly you nearly gave them a little more of the heat. Yeah, well, ball's flying tonight. There's going to be a lot of them, I think. Uh, you know, I was just, I got great pitches to hit, and that's the that's the hardest part about this. You get good pitches, you can hit some out. Clearly you didn't feel the pressure being the first person to hit. Uh, I felt all the pressure in the world. <laughs> it's pretty nerve-wracking out here. I'm glad to be done. 
Paul not letting him see everybody sweat there Chris. <laughs> that makes one of us rich that's for sure. And so next up the hometown hero Richie Sexton who can hit monster blasts. A good start for Canerco guys. This is his second one. A little more of an uppercut than you might do it right in a regular game. But well, I, I think the ones who always win are the guys really do not have to change their stroke too often. That's why you know Ken Griffey Jr. was so good. But if you you know get a little slight uppercut is what you need. Here comes the bomb. Stays behind the ball really yeah, well. Really well. Doesn't exactly. go out to get it. Jesus his hands. So six for the pride of the Chicago White Sox. Paul Canerco. We're going to have an all Midwest start. Canerco, then Sexton, then Hunter, and then Sosa. All Midwest. Back here at Miller Park, the second year that uh, Miller Park has replaced Old County Stadium, and the Brewer fans enjoying every bit of it. And here are the dimensions. And you know, Robin Yao helped design this park, and it's not really in the home run derby, but down the line, a lot of room for doubles and triples more than homers, isn't it, guys? Well, the way the ball carries here, though, the 345, it's probably like 330. So I mean, it does carry well here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's true. You do need a, a, a good outfielder out there. There is some room, but on the same note, uh, get it up in the jet stream. It's going <laughs> to it's going to fly out of here. Well, and then if you hit it to those signs, a million bucks. Now, admittedly, that's it's kind of high to hit 500 hit it here or hit it there. But we say that and that's below where Canerco hit. Right? Exactly. In so left he, field. so he maybe someone gets a million two on his blast, right? <laughs> Very possible. Plus interest. And these eight individuals, they have a great shot tonight. Regional winners of the Century 21 Home Run Derby sweepstakes. Each winner has been randomly paired with one of the sluggers in tonight's contest. The lucky person paired with the winner of this year's Derby will win $250,000 for the purchase of a new home. Luis Gonzalez won it for his contestant last year. He's here as an all-star, but not in the home run derby. And now the pride of Milwaukee, six foot seven, Richie Sexton with a standing O. You talk about pressure. He's under a lot of pressure now. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the longest arms I think I've ever seen on a, on a slugger like that. Does he stand close to the plate? He's not really close. He's just for a big guy. He's actually a really good low ball hitter, which is rare. You know, you guys like that are uh, hit the ball up over the plate, not down. What's up, dude? What's going on? Uh, Jason Jombie's joining us. The beauty of us calling it from down here uh, on the field is that we're going to get a couple of the players. And, and this is here's sex and night. Hey, Jason. How are we? Great. I'm not standing. Just getting loose in the cage. You're not, uh, not going to hit underneath? Or, yeah, you are. You ready to go? I'm ready to go now. Alex and I went underneath. How was batting crack? It was good. I, the ball's flying out of this place, boy. Now, you told me. I don't I even want to pick a number, but. You thought what you have 13 14 last year in the yeah, first round. So that's nothing that's not going to do. I, I, well I want to try to do more. I'm, I'm not going to do the strategy. I'm just going to let it fly. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> just huh? let it fly. Because Barry was screaming at me last year. Go shut it down. You're in the next round. <laughs> I kind of petered out after that. Well <laughs> yeah, I think I'll that try. is the point because yeah. after taking so many swings and hitting so many home runs last year you didn't do as well in the final round. And I'm sure it was because you were fatigued a little bit. I remember too in 96 when Barry I think beat McGuire and yeah. McGuire was Philly, swinging and right. ran out of gas and Barry was just you know popping him out of there with his hands. Yeah just quick hands. <laughs> just <laughs> touching him. Just touching him. <laughs> just tapping him. Just tapping him out of here. Spanking the baby's yeah. bottom. I was say we may have to call for a relief pitcher here. Well I tell you what either that or the Brewers are going to sign him. <laughs> <laughs> 
getting sawed off a little bit. He might be turning the ball over. Yeah, Mike can even attack. It's tough when you start pulling that cage away and get out there being yeah. home. It's, it's a different world, man. I mean, that cage is pulled away and you got everybody watching. It's a different you, world. You had to bring up Mike, right? Mike well, is going no. for the contest. No. <laughs> he has I, never I, I hit guess, one. Guess, <laughs> that's why I'm gonna, over here. Yeah. That's why I'm over here. I keep getting reminded of that for some reason. <laughs> There's one. one. That's a scud right there. Richie Sexton is on the board. Wow. Hey, Jason. When Mike was in the contest, he was killing him in batting practice. They pulled a cage away, like you said, and then he decided to come over here and work with me. No. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. I put my money on him any time and during the game. <laughs> Thank you. That's when they count, though, anyway. For some reason, I jammed myself. I don't know why. <laughs> well, he just hit a rocket. He's running out of uh, yeah, outs, so. Let me, uh, hey, Joe, let me ask you. Let's go back to a young Dave Kingman. Does the physique remind you of, of Kingman? Yeah, very similar. Real tall. Dave had that severe uppercut, though. Oh. You didn't want to get Dave Kingman in a home run contest no. in batting practice because he had everything in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and far. Yeah. <laughs> well, my favorite Kingman story was he was on four different teams in the four different divisions and had a homer for all of them in one season. <laughs> That's hard to do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Holy stuff. The record that will never be broken. It looks like the pitcher, it looks like the ball's, he's throwing a cutter. Most of the balls have been down and away. Then you got to go off pitch with that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's his third base coach, Muggsy, Gary Allison. That'll bring some Wisconsin rain. Wow. Yeah. That's two. That looked like a punt. Yeah, that's, that's an anti-great <laughs> right guy right there. Well, Lambo's not that far from here, Mike. No kidding. The tough thing is, I think you got to get on the board with a few early. Early, right? and now he's running out of outs, and it's tough. That's right. Yeah, you got to get him early and get that yeah. rhythm going, and just starting to hit him out. You know, Sexton had the first game-winning home run ever at this park last April when they opened it up against uh, Cincinnati. Got that you can't take that away. He wants to get into the next round. Canerco started with six. He's got to get moving. Again, it, I, I think because Richie likes the ball more down than up, it is tougher in BP for him to, uh, to hit the ball out of the ballpark. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, anyone who got an outfield seat but didn't bring a glove, yeah, that's, that's a bad move. Yeah. <laughs> Or a catcher's mask, one or the other. <laughs> Joe, you think we're going to have that camera on the mound during regular season games for Sunday Night Baseball? Jeez. <laughs> nice, you guys could really nice call addition. balls and strikes yeah, out there. Nice well, addition. that's what they want. <laughs> this goes after the blimp. What? <laughs> He's got one more out. Our shot. Oh, I got that one. Back, 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 back. They got the gloves up there. Jason, you, can you believe you're in? I mean, I know, look, you're MVP, et cetera, but you come to something like this, you watch all this. You believe you're in a contest like this against. Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa. No, not at all. Especially, wasn't that really fun? He's living on that last guy. We keep it going. But uh, no, you know, I never thought it was a fluke that I got in last year in Seattle because somebody didn't want to do it, and they asked me last minute, and mm. you know, there I did the single round record. Wow. The ball's hit very hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one. So a great two-out rally, huh, boys? It's hanging tough. Oh, oh yeah! This will tie him with Canerco! See ya! Oh, my God! Halfway up the tower! Bernie Brewer almost got punched! <laughs> He's feeling a little sassy now. Oh. Three in a row for Sexton to all of a sudden put the charge in the Brujas. 
That last one was 480, boys. That's some distance right there. 480. Got to throw a soft toss in up there. That's a lob wedge. <laughs> Tell you what, even 480 Canadian is, is not bad. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. But a big nine out rally for Richie Setson, who is up there with Canerco with a six spot. Or dare I say in Miller Park, a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Jami, thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, man. 14, that's a big number to shoot for. Hey, but, uh, if it's Let's one, go to Rich Eisen. Richie? All right, Richie, did you really have the weight of Wisconsin on your shoulders there? A little bit, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely unlike anything I've ever experienced. That, uh, the fans are obviously great here. They get uh, really involved with you know, all our sports and stuff. So uh, it's sure going to be a memorable moment no matter what happens. 480 feet. Did you think you had it in you? Uh, just adrenaline got going a little bit, so I, you know, and the, the ball's flying right now, so we felt we had a chance. All right, Richie Sexton of the Milwaukee Brewers with six home runs. All right, Rich and Richie, that was a thrill. I dug in a little bit, I became a little more selective. Well, it's like Mike said, he likes the ball down. I mean, the ones that he hit the farthest were the ones that were down. That's number five. Let me see the one that Bernie went into, that went into Bernie's tank. Here it is. Oi. <laughs> oh How about this one, boys? That ball's crushed. That ball's absolutely crushed. Right you know, there. those mascots are taking turns sliding down Bernie Brewer's chute. They almost all got taken out there. Tory Hunter of the Twins as we begin Chicago, Milwaukee, Minnesota, and Chicago. Welcome back to Milwaukee, where we have seen the first two batters, Konerko and Richie Sexton, hit six home runs on a night that the ball is just flying out of here in the land of beer and brats. We, and I say we, the baseball community, really America, lost. Well, the president said it. Not only a great ball player, but a great American. A man that served this country for five years flying in two different wars and oh by the way Ted Williams at 521 home runs 1839 RBIs lifetime average at 344 and the last man in 1941 to hit 400 at 406 Ted Williams a man that touched everyone who ever played the game and two of the best are sitting here to my right Joe Morgan and Mike Piazza Mike I want to start with you because you made him as, as a teenager right you yeah this book uh, I was so fortunate Ted, Ted was in uh, my area doing an appearance and you know my father being close with Tommy he got to know a real good friend of his a scout named Dave Libertor and Ted was uh, so so gracious to come over to my house because he was so so passionate about hitting and uh, you know it was an amazing experience for me I mean I was just so fortunate that uh, that happened and it was a turning point in my life obviously in my really? career and uh, he just was so passionate about hitting and is obviously the the father of modern day hitting as far as the science and the, the analysis and the, the videotape all that is because of him because he did turn it into a science. Joe you had a great quote this week one of many is that when he went to Cooperstown he legitimized every one of you being there you felt that way. Well uh, if, if you always look to see if Ted was there first I mean he was the first guy you looked for. If Ted was there it was Hall of Fame weekend that made it special. He made the game of baseball special for so many. And you just wonder, as Torrey Hunter of the Minnesota Twins step up, you just wonder. I know guys are injured, et cetera, but you know, flying planes in World War II in Korea, yeah. would we have seen 2,000 RBIs? Very likely. 600 something home runs? Yeah. Very likely. Right? He's a real life John Wayne, as right. far as I'm concerned. I mean, he typified everything that America stands for, you know? That you really, admire, really. really yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Tory Hunter gone. The only thing I'll say is he rooted for guys to hit 400. He liked the modern player, didn't he? Well, he liked the players, but I don't think anyone's going to hit 400. No, I, I know that. <laughs> wow. I think you're right. Tory Hunter of the Minnesota Twins, who really is coming to his own with a ball that almost hit our ESPN Sports Center in baseball tonight. Set. We were talking just before the contest started about Tory Hunter, Mike and I. And Mike said he can rake. <laughs> You're getting a good example of it. These are line drive home runs. Well, he's wow. got 20 homers at the break. He had 27 last year. He was a number one pick of the Twins back in 93. 
um, from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Won a gold glove last year, and man, can he wow. play the outfield. You guys say, know that. I, I mean, never had the fortune of seeing Willie Mays play, but I think he, there's some similarities there as wow. far as just defensively and offensively. Well, he definitely can go get him. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a tough uh, comparison, of course, but this game is based on the comparisons, right. and I think that uh, everything he can do on the field is exciting. He's one of the reasons why the Minnesota yeah. Twins are not only have a pretty big lead in first place, but uh, maybe going a little stronger than some people thought. He's one of the, those guys that all kind of grew up together at Fort Myers and Single A and New Britain and, you know, worked up the way. Uh, two of my favorite stops, Fort Myers and the New Britain. <laughs> there you go. Catch. Man, he can hit it hard. Look at I mean, even his, I mean, their line drives. He just, uh, he's not getting enough elevation. Every ball he's yeah. hit could have gone out. He's just not getting elevation on it. There's one. Yeah, I got under that a little, didn't you guys? It's still well, out there. Whoa! Oh, the track. I can't believe it went that far. Yeah. Lance Berkman, who leads the majors in homers. Not Bonds, not Sosa, but Berkman, 29. Coming up in a couple. That one may have some legs yeah, you to right center. And, oh, yeah. And it legs like a centipede. A lot of them. That's Oppage. Oppage juice. <laughs> And it, you know, again, he's not going to hit the long 500 foot blast, but his balls are going to get out of there on a clothesline. You know? He hits the ball hard. You yeah. can see that. The ball jumps off his back. Just goes after. Drives. It. How about a guy like him in his first All Star game? I mean, you guys remember yours? I mean, they weren't necessarily home run. You never derby, forget your first All Star game <laughs> or your first at bat in the major yeah. leagues. Where was yours, Joe? Uh, my first All Star game, I, I was injured. I was selected to start in St. Louis, so I didn't play. The first one I actually played in was in Cincinnati, the one where Pete Rose actually ran over the catcher over Ray Fossey to score the winning run. I pinch hit actually, and I got a base hit, and I scored the tying run in that ball game. Big rally in the ninth. That yeah, game. Exactly. three runs, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to surprise Roberto you. Roberto drove me in with a sacrifice. Yeah, but I'm going to surprise you. Dick Dietz hit a homer in the ninth inning of that You're game. Right. Didn't he? Yes. Yeah, just pulled that one out. <laughs> he was a giant. Joe. <laughs> 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 Well, Torrey gave it his best shot. He's so good with the glove, and those Minnesota Twins are in first, and he's a big reason why. Nice young man, Torrey, 27 years of age. Well, he's more of a line drive hitter than he is, you know, a fly ball hitter. His home runs are line drives. Torrey right there going opposite field. Just staying behind the ball and just hitting the scud to right. That was fun. I got three, baby. Three, three. Well, Tori had three, but you know who's coming. A guy who, by as we said in the beginning, by Labor Day is going to be at 500 lifetime. Sammy Sosa. Well, this is the scoreboard so far. Paul Konerko and Richie Sexton with six. Tori Hunter with three, but now a name you certainly would expect in this home run derby. Sammy Sosa, who won it two years ago with that shot off the transformer in Atlanta. And this is during batting practice, guys. How far is this? <laughs> That's well, far. The other was 473. That's a little longer. And as he took out that chunk of the scoreboard, this is what Sammy has done this year. All right. He's passed his strength, Carl Yastrzemski, Dave Winfield, Junior Griffey, Jose Canseco, and just recently passed the 475 barrier of Willie Stargell and Stan the Man Musial. So now, just Lou Gehrig is the last man to pass on the way to 500 home runs. And he's done like half of it the last four and a half years, guys. Unbelievably consistent comes to hitting. Power hitting as well. I mean, goes out of here, hits 60 home runs. I mean, <laughs> what can you say? How do you attempt to pitch him? You know, you just hope that he pops it up, basically, or, you know, I don't really think there's a weakness well, in his zone. Yep. I mean, he can hit the ball down, he can hit the ball up. Thank you. Uh, breaking balls. I mean, I think, again, someone made a mention, at least when he started loading up on that back foot. You know, he used to be a straight, like a like a stiff type of leg hitter. And now he loads up, and it's just extremely tough to fool him. Um, so you just kind of hope that he's cold that day. 
<laughs> about three years ago or four years ago I guess now he moved off the plate a little bit. Yeah I think that gave him a little more confidence that he didn't have to protect the inside part sure. of the plate so he could handle balls out over the plate better. Oh. That's just a hello shot from yeah. Sammy Sosa. I'm here. That's an appetizer. Sammy last year at 425 total bases. That's the best total in the majors since Stan Musial in 48. Jeez. Well, he's got 28 home runs so far this year. 15 of them have been to right field. And that's the new Sammy Sosa. I mean, he's hitting a lot of balls. When you pitch him away, he goes the other way and hits it out of the ballpark. Seems like a long time ago that the White Sox traded him across town in 92 for George Taco Bell, didn't it? Oops. Well, the thing with Sammy is that he enjoys this. Yeah. And like we were talking, there's a lot of pressure on the new guys coming in, but he just loves this. He swings hard, but it's controlled. Right. You know what I mean? He really swings hard, but he's not like his head's flying out. He's staying on the ball. He's turning around his center. And just every year, rakes. In the last three <laughs> years, he's hit over 300. Yeah. Joining us oh. now is, wait a minute, leaving us now is this shot by Sosa. Oh, it's over the restaurant in the upper deck. <laughs> told you that first shot was just an appetizer, a little foie gras. He's winning. That's a true big call. Oh, now we get golly. to the meat. Man. 496. 496. Is that good? Yeah. That, that's good Mexican, not even Canadian. <laughs> Joining us now is the starting pitcher of the National League, Kurt Schilling, who, for once, you don't have to pitch to Sosa, huh, Kurt? Yeah. You know what? The, the, it's, this is all fun and games for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I get to Joe, sit here and laugh. But, I've actually got to face all these guys in the same lineup tomorrow. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Sammy's locked. That first one, yeah. he like just centered that ball. How do you try to work it? We might just try to pop him up. I mean, do you have? A... <laughs> well, you 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 try to take advantage of his aggressiveness and uh, and go from there. Um, he's so strong. Like a lot of the guys now uh, you know they're not only hitting 320 they're hitting 50 homers. I think that's the thing I've said that surprised me the most normally guys if they were sluggers they didn't hit 320. Well, George Foster right you know 270 yeah. 260 yeah. 50 homers yeah. now guys are hitting 340 and hitting 50 homers or 40. Well, the, the, the game's all skewed for offense anyway. <laughs> There there we we go. Go. You, want, you want the 18 inch mound? Yeah. Oh, I don't, the size of the mound is irrelevant. Right. I want a 24 inch plate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how you're swinging. Yeah. Uh. Sammy with two homers and four outs. Very selective. I mean, he yeah. wants, look. He wants to win. Yes. <laughs> There's no question about that. That's got to go. Out of the stadium, or <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that is good. That's still going. <laughs> it's Plinko. Oh, look at mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. He almost, it almost defies belief, doesn't it? Uh, it's, well, he put on a show in Atlanta a couple of years ago that I thought was the greatest yeah. that I'd ever seen. I mean, it was just. He just kept hitting them farther and farther, and it, it was unbelievable. I thought that his show in Atlanta and McGuire in Boston were right. the two most amazing games yeah, I've ever seen. McGuire in Boston, that was awesome, too. You know, that last one, he he didn't get all of it. It only went 480. <laughs> That's because there was something physical standing in the way of the ball. <laughs> nice. That's who won it last year, beating Sosa. Miguel Tejada, one of the five shortstop picked by Joe Torre. I wonder whether four of those guys could play the infield for an hour or two. <laughs> Tejada at first. Omar, Jeter, A-Rod, maybe a Vizquel. Well, maybe not behind the plate. Well, with the skills that they all have, they can play any place on the infield. I wonder if Joe can... Oh! Jambi's next. Well, good, good guy to follow.
<laughs> 5 0 2, boys. It's like a Nolan Ryan fastball. <laughs> Crack 500. It's tough to get over that. Jeez. It's out of the game. There we go. I like that. <laughs> Roll it over. <laughs> Turn over. Take Topping two. Ground. Topping ground ball double flush. Vladimir Guerrero. Yeah, this. I mean, this is. This is a show, is it? This not? is like uh, the fastest car in high school competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and it's it's funny because you can tell the difference between the guys that are in this for the first time and the guys that have been here. Right. Sammy's here to win it. I mean, you can tell by the way he's approaching his at bats. Yeah. The other guys are nervous, and, and the they crowd, want to get it over. Well, when the crowd gets into, especially for Richie, in front of his home crowd. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man! Back! Back! Another one on the upper deck. Now the longest ball's hit here, and I know it's only been open a year and a half. Are 475, yeah. a couple of them, and these, <laughs> which is two feet farther than the shortest one today. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why do they have the regular wall? That's what I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, what is that for? <laughs> what is that for? The game skew for offense. I'm telling you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Five, two, zero. Oh. That's 520 cool. feet. I just want to know what that feels like once. <laughs> I, take this I off. Tell you, my best ball. You're <laughs> never gonna know. No. No. I can throw one. one though. I've thrown one. Well, all this said and done, he still needs another home run to tie. Yeah. He, uh, I, I think it's a pretty safe bet. Well, yeah, I hope so, but you never know. <laughs> Amazing. Because he's one of those guys, like this goof sitting next to me, he can miss it and still hit a home. Out. Anywhere. However, Joe, he does have the lead in oohs and ahs. Right. Right? Yeah. Exactly. He's the winner in that every year, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. There it is, six four three. <laughs> you love that. You know, because the shortstop's in the hole, so <laughs> no, he's actually two hours. We're gonna we're gonna end up taking batting practice for the game tomorrow. Just go straight from this into BP for tomorrow. Right here, bring some fellow out. Now, if he gets the six, he's almost as sure. He is assured of right. <laughs> Not really, almost well, assured he because would be, uh, he has more home runs than will, both Sexton and Panerko. Right, that would be the tiebreaker yeah. if you're tied. But you know what? We'll worry about that at that moment. Which should be soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kills me is I sit here and watch these guys <laughs> keyhole balls right down the middle and take them and look at them. <laughs> and I throw the, I try to throw like 94 on the black away and they line it into the right field gap. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're going to have to change the rules so just add up the total distance and the total distance <laughs> right. divided right. by pi <laughs> <laughs> to the cubed root. I like it. And you, right? have the, you have the the Pythagoras <laughs> theorem coming into play. Bill James <laughs> could come up with a theory, yeah. uh, uh, some mathematical formula that would calculate offensive output and home run derby. <laughs> pi and square roots, I think yes. that's great. Popped it up. We popped that ball up. Yeah, there it goes. That's a joke. Oh, That's man. That is unbelievable. That right there, I mean, that was a pop-up. That's not gone in Shea, though. No. <laughs> See, the problem is, <laughs> he can't hit that plane. Yeah, no. Franco throws that back in. <laughs> <laughs> On the lifeguard seat. That's the thing now for me, pitching the sound. I'll throw a pitch, and the guy will make, the bat will make a weird sound. He'll be like, all right, that's a pop-up. And then the people are wrestling <laughs> over in the aisle. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I'm a pitcher, dude. I'm allowed <laughs> to do that. No, you're right. Oh. oh man, this one is all the way to Lambeau Field. Get out of the stadium. Oh, there it is. Just keep. <laughs> the ball just exploded off his back. <laughs> the ball, like the guy who won the freakness. Your yeah. horse just exploded. <laughs> I am so glad I'm pitching for the National League. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Uh, the ball just explode. Explode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, don't kill the now. Don't kill the right. Let's just yeah. stop it. Let's all go get dinner. Right. Just give Sammy. We, we haven't had bonds yet. Oh man. I'm worn out already. I got whiplash. <laughs> I got the ice down my neck. That's what? That's a homer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's why they have this interface, Mike, so that's a homer. Okay. I know what those look like. 
That was your your our audio man almost. Wow, that's Mr. Ricochet out there. You might lose some checklets on that one. You can't. <laughs> I, if I think I got enough, I'm quitting that in the first round of rest. No this has got to be. But you got four guys behind you. So. All right. Oh. <laughs> Those mascots got rug burn. <laughs> <laughs> they're all there. They're each homer, they're taking a slide. <laughs> there, Philly Fanatic is next. 5 1 2. 5 12. So three over 500 feet. That's just the get me over right there. 5 12. Yawner. Now the longest ball ever hit in Milwaukee is believed to be Cecil Fielder. And I'll explain. Oh, except until now. Oh, oh man, open up all the windows. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sammy's in heaven right now. Oh my God. That's unbelievable. Jason Giambi is next. He's going to get stiff. Wait. <laughs> he took batting practice. Five twenty four. <laughs> Was that career homers or was that distance? Uh, it's almost about the same. Right. Sammy with 478 lifetime homers. Yeah, this guy figures he won the house already. The yep. tough guy, right? Yeah. He's already right thinking about the furniture. Sammy better save some. We got to call ESPN. I think we're going overtime. Right. We got to get a bonus for this or something. We can work that in. <laughs> <laughs> Joe can do that. No, oh, I, I can't. Joe, yeah, you got right. that pull. I, I know you right. got it. Yeah, be kidding me. Okay. How high can this possibly go? That ball got in on it. Oh! That ball was that ball was not off the barrel. Again. Now you know it's no. a good thing the roof is open, Joe. <laughs> Eleven homers in the first round. Jami's 14 last year is the record, if you will. They've been doing this derby since the 86 in a row. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to play them one more Plus, time. Plus, no kidding. He's wearing out. You're right. Pitch count it becomes a factor, right? Yeah, for this BP guy. He's yeah. out for the second half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we told you 14 last year. McGuire at 13 in the first round of Fenway in 99. Those are the ones you remember. Larry Walker had a couple when he had nine. That's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> if he takes it, it's a ball. Ted Williams. <laughs> <laughs> he took a pitch. It was a ball. Oh. Oh, the dead center field. Could this hit the ball? Could this take off more points? Oh. It's a ball. The scoreboard. <laughs> Right now, Bud saying it's a two million dollars to fix you more than that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got insurance. We've got insurance. <laughs> oh man! Wow! He almost hit himself. Don't hit the fan of vision. That hit! I don't believe where that is. He almost hit himself. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do they say 502 for that and 52? I just think it's pick up three numbers. 500. Plus. Well, that was coming down. Oh yeah. <laughs> In Madison. <laughs> Sheboygan. <laughs> oh, that's gone. What's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? Wow. Unbelievable. Five over 500 feet. Eight over 480 feet. 12 homers for Sammy. Say it is Sosa. Go get him, Jason. He's with Rich Eisen. Rich. All right, Sammy Sosa. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> everyone here is wondering, did you get all of it? Well, Miss Capo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm very uh, not happy with myself. I think um, <laughs> I'm just trying to do the best that I can for the fans. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. 
It's a privilege to gotta say, hear all the fans. Uh, baseball been very, very good to me. And I'm so happy to put on the show for the fans. So, in other words, look out, second round. Definitely, uh, I just start to get it warm up. <laughs> all right, there you have it. Kurt Schilling, you heard it, he wasn't happy with himself. <laughs> Hard to believe, huh, boys? That was there was that was dripping in sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, let's see some of these again. Five oh. over 500 feet. Well, I mean, they're all going to look similar because he oh. takes the same hard cut, and then he it's just a matter of where he hits a dead center or a little bit off center. I mean, each swing looks very similar. Wow. Now you know what the guys at Fort Sumter felt like. Look at that, he steps away. That's a beautiful takeaway right there. Oh. He takes, my goodness. You, you go right past, oh, into laughter. Hey, look at that. Oh. I mean, I'm, we're not speechless very often here, Joe. <laughs> look at the players, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here's our chart, but actually I didn't think we had that much yellow ink. <laughs> oh. That is, I, I need a couple of shells, two clicks to the right. That looks like John Madden's <laughs> telephone. Good right luck there. tomorrow. Thank you guys, I had a blast. Sammy Sosa has lit him up, but Jason Jovey says, hey, it's my turn. Don't go away. Now we are back at Miller Park in Milwaukee where Sammy Sosa has just hit parts of the park that we did not frankly knew existed. His 12 homers now give him the lead halfway through the first round. Paul Konerko, Richie Sexton with six, Torrey Hunter with three, and now the heavy metal. Jason Jambi, Lance Berkman, Alex Rodriguez will join us in a moment here in the booth, and Barry Bynes. Coming up next here on ESPN, more action. The 2002 Radio Shack MLB All-Star Celebrity Softball Game. You say big deal, right? Well, George Brett's in it. Ozzie Smith's in it. Don Mattingly's in it. Gold medalist Peekaboo Street's in it. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s in it. Plus a special performance by the Counting Crows Radio Shack All-Star Celebrity Softball Game following us right here on ESPN. Now, Sosa had 12, but last season in Seattle, Jason Jambi had the any round record with 14. And Joe and Mike, we remember I mean, he had the groove going, did he not? Because we look at some of his shots last year. But well, one of the things about all these hitters, they're all such great hitters, if they get in a matter of which pitches you get to hit. Him. So Jason comes to the plate with 22 homers thus far this year. You see 38, 43, and 33 the years before that. Last year with almost 50 doubles. I mean, the guy is just, he's raised his batting average all six years he's been in the majors. Boy, the ninth guy ever to do that. Now, the bad news, he had 342 last year. It's going to be hard to keep going up. Come on, baby. Uh, Alex Rodriguez joins us in the booth. I, I feel like I'm working, Joe, with our only sidekicks ever, Mike and then A-Rod. <laughs> the guys have done right. it. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you. It's good to be here. How about that show by Sammy? I'll tell you what. That was unbelievable. I mean, that's, that's what the All-Star Game is all about. And... I don't know why they want us to hit after that performance. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I said, let's go to the buffet. Man. That's it. Get him going, folks. I know you've been a great Let him know you're here. I mean, I, look, you know about Sammy. You've seen him hit, but there are parts of this park that we didn't know existed. It, it, it almost makes it look like he's hit using a driver and we're using a seven <laughs> iron or something. I mean, it's not fair, but he's just. Uh, He's got an incredible swing, and the ball just jumps off his bat like I've never seen anything yeah. before. So what are you trying to do as we zero? Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit like Mike. I'm, I'm not real good at this uh, <laughs> home run derby it's stuff. Just a poultry 390. What's wrong with him? How dare he? If they all count, though, <laughs> no right? Kidding. Yeah, they count in this contest. Now, it's, I will ask you this. You know, it's more you, like it right there. You actually. Last year in Seattle, you weren't sure what that whole deal was going to be like, and it all changed at the home run derby for you. I'm not saying they don't boo you when you come in as a <laughs> Ranger, but it changed on this night last year, didn't it? Yeah, you know what? And it got gradually better as we went along, and I think I have a lot to thank you about it because you had a great introduction. Thank you. And that was a turning point. I think as I go back now, uh, the fans are still, uh, you know, they're still uh, well, you're a divisional me. rival. Absolutely, and but it's fun. It's not like it was last year where it was. Uh, you know, a little tougher. It's too much drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, could Jason provide some drama here, huh? Yeah. He's, he's doing it at 435, the last one. Certainly, 
The Yankee fans were booing him the first few weeks. That didn't take long for that to wear off, huh? Just takes that first game winning home run and get it going. Sends it way back to right center, and oh man, that's a second deck. And you know, his biggest home run that he hit thus far as a Yankee was when it was raining and there were like one, 2,000 people left in the park against the Little Twins. Little more in, Willow. Salami. Little Seen more in. Seen by the least Yankee fans yeah. ever to see one of his homers. You and I kind of won him over for good. Did you hear Jason? Yeah. I like that. He said, a little more <laughs> in. Telling the batting back pitcher where he wants it. A little more in. Ah. That was a little too far. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> where do you like the ball, hey, Rod, where, are you gonna, where, are you, where are you gonna tell your guy to throw it? I like it, like you said, middle in, uh, but right down the middle is good because I right. like to get my arms extended and see if I can. I'm not trying to pull balls. I'm trying to go right up the middle right. and uh, get through the ball and see whatever happens happens. John Beater, right back, back, back. Oh, yeah. just missed. I'll tell you, Joe. Uh, Jason's one of the best players, uh, the best hitter I've ever played against mm -hmm. consistently. Right. Obviously, we were in the West, so we played a lot against each other, but I've never seen a hitter who has the power, the consistency, and this guy never swings at a ball. And he can still hit 45 home runs with a 340 batting average. He's just amazing. You know what I remember? His last game is an Oakland A game five, and the Yankees Yank is four for four. Yeah. And it was like they, they didn't win it. But it was, he went out, you weren't going to get him out. That was. That's again, that's a million one to, to just over the sign. We're making it up, of course, but. Well, well of course, I mean, <laughs> they, I don't think they realize how close they were putting him for some of these guys. That million dollars. Well, other years, Joe, no yeah, one was close, yeah, right? Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that was the seven iron, right? Yeah. The, the, the draw. <laughs> Tommy Glavin is here, but not going to be able to pitch. Speaking of good golfers, that puts him in second, and guess oh what? Oh, my. Man, he's just missed it under. He's going after it. Now, a random fan in the crowd who does not know where he or she is sitting, if anybody hits that sign or the one in left under the restaurant, which we've oh. seen exceeded, some fan will win a million bucks. They're going to look under their seat and see a MasterCard or whatever it is sticker, and if the sign gets hit, somebody leaves with a million. Now you see it's possible. But how's that deal? Well, they should get five million where Sammy was headed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's Johnny Damon, the people's choice. Voted in as there's a new, the extra player. He was fan voting. Ouch. The people's now chat. That one can't go, can it? Did it go? Man, it did. Now, I'd hate to see either one of you hit here every quietly, day. Quietly. Quietly. One of the Yankee coaches told me, said, you know, quietly, Jason's been working on his home run stroke the last week. Not so much during the games. Yeah. But he, like Sammy, came to win. These guys do not have to change their strokes. <laughs> I was going to say. Hey, like A-Rod said, he's going to aim for dead center. Usually in the home run hitting contest, you're trying to pull the ball, but he knows that if he hits it well in the center, it doesn't matter either. This one is way back to right center, and oh, man, it clears everything. On top of the boots out there. So we're going to now what? You grit your teeth? Alex, you're, Say what? you're gritting your teeth here or what? Well, I'm going to go uh, get loose after this and see if uh, I can hit some seven irons out there. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to ask Sammy for his driver. If this one stays fair, oh, it just missed. Ooh. That's a tough out. Ooh, the hit That's a long out. And came back to second base. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Sosa with 12 and Jambi with nine, our leaders, but we have Berkman. Alex, who's right here with us, and some guy named Barry Bond still to come. Richie Sexton thrilled the fans with the three homers with one out to go to put a six up and give them hope. But who knows now? I think yeah. Willie Randolph's getting a little tired out there. <laughs> He's had to throw so many pitches to Jason. Oh, man. Oh. Dead center. Way back it goes. Back, back, back in. <laughs> Got the uh, baseball factories in Costa Rica working overtime. We're running out of balls. Gonna have to send a dispatch out to get them. Well, what did Harold Reynolds just tell us? During yeah. batting practice, you guys used up all the balls. They had to get new ones. Is that right? 
I saw a couple with the Joe Morgan signature on it. <laughs> 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 oh, you're big, Joe. I told yeah, you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. My. I will lay out, Joe. I was going to say the dead ball era. But, no, I didn't uh, mean that. I didn't mean I'm not going to say that. That's Joe. all right. <laughs> uh, well, Jason, I saw him last night. He said, how about 20 in the first round? Jeez. Ah. Hey, but 11 is not too shabby. I think he's got this first round down, huh? Okay. Alex, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank good you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. See ya. I had to follow that shit up. Wow. So how about following Sammy's 12, Sammy's 12 with his 11, huh? I didn't think it could be done, but he did I, it. Well, you, you had the right guy to follow Sammy. Because he has hit 14 in one round, so he wasn't intimidated. And he knew what he could do. I mean, but again, he just has, he doesn't have to change any swing. He just makes his normal swing because you can hit line drives out of here. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Oh! <laughs> Tory Hunter and Miguel Tejada. And here's more yellow ink. I think he had that right center field down, huh, guys? Yeah. So an impressive Thanks, follow. And now the home run leader at the break. 29 for Lance Berkman of the Astros. He's coming. And then Alex Rodriguez. And then the man that hit 73 last year, Barry Bonds. What a first round machine here in Milwaukee. Chris Berman, Joe Morgan, Mike Piazza with you here at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Here's where we stand. Jason Jambi just followed Sammy Sosa's 12 with 11. And so with Berkman, Rodriguez, and Bonds to come, Conurco and Sexton very much on the bubble. Now, Mike Piazza's joined us here for the fourth time here in the booth, and that's because of you here to reference it once upon a time in the home run derby, Mike, in Baltimore in 93. Well, I was hitting the ball hard, but it was a lot of Yeah, you're right. I'll give you credit. You were hitting it hard. Now, here's Pittsburgh. Well, in that was not so hard, though, Mike. You Look at the hair. Poppers. That was the key. And Saturday in the mascot <laughs> home run derby, Mr. Met. Laid me out. Well, you know, it's always good to have arms <laughs> in a home run derby. So, Mike, how come Mr. Met do that? So I don't know. He didn't have the hair working back then. Well, he didn't have the mullet. And you, you said you really felt nervous in those home run derbies, huh? Yeah, and again, you know, not to make excuses, I, I really wasn't familiar with the pitchers and you know the few times I do, I've done them after that you know I was able to pick a pitcher that I was familiar with but it doesn't hold much water you're never gonna <laughs> you're never gonna see you out there again I don't know we, we like you with these us days. yeah I have a lot of fun doing this so who knows maybe one day this okay. might surprise you see home run leaders I mean I know baseball fans are aware of this Lance Berkman more than Sosa more than Bonds more than a Rod more than everyone 29 home runs for Lance Berkman, the pride of Texas, 97 first round pick by the Astros, was such a great college player at the Owls of Rice University. And as we said in the open, he had 55 doubles last year. It's most ever by a switch hitter in baseball history. 94 extra base hits, which is the most ever by a switch hitter in baseball history. At 331, 34 homers, he's on his way, Joe. Well, yeah, he's well, a guy that's been improving right every year as well. He's the Clark Kent of the contest. <laughs> yeah, good point. It's <laughs> a good yeah, line. Very, you know what? We don't want you to hit again. We want you to be with us. <laughs> and this one is to right field, back, 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 and gone. You know, I talked to him before we st while he was taking batting practice, and because it was him, Bonds, and Sosa in the same group. I said, "Do you, even though you have 29 homers?" Do you wonder what you're doing here? He goes, yes, absolutely. What am I doing? Well, obviously, he deserves to be here because he proved last year that he was the legitimate star with the Astros. And he's hitting more home runs this year. His average is not as high as it was last year, but he is producing more runs, leading the world in RBI. 81. How's that? That's driving in some runs. Yes. That one will be but foul. This is similar to, you know, kind of typical of a first-time guy. Sure. You rush through it. You rush through everything. And you know what? You know, if he can just relax his last few swings and get in the groove, he'll be okay. So. It's a good line drive, but unfortunately, the longest part of the park is <laughs> 400 and dead center. Hmm. 
Barry Zito watching and she's saying I don't think he's going to hack like this against me tomorrow. Well, you're right. It's like it's, he's taking no pitches, right? No, no, exactly. Well, that's, as you said, it shows that you can tell the guys that have been in the contest before. They're patient. They step out, wait a little bit. You know, I mean, they just relax. And a lot of times, they poor Lance is, try to get in and get out. He's gone before we even we hardly knew ye. <laughs> well, he got one, Mike. So he's your new one hero. Counts, right? baby. One there. Alex Rodriguez and Barry Bonds coming up. Sammy Sosa with 12 and Jason Jambi with 11 of the clinch spots in the semis. Can Alex Rodriguez and Barry Bonds join them? We'll see. Nerko and Sexton on the bubble. Joe Morgan, Mike Piazza, Chris Berman, and there's a man that knows how to hit a long ball or two. So does he. And joining us uh, while A Rod bats, and, we, and here, now look at this first. 26 years of age, he has the most homers at his age that anyone has in the majors. Jimmy, Jimmy Fox had more X's, but A Rod had two more home runs. <laughs> All right, now that's a rarely seen little number there. Unbelievable. I have to tell you, I don't know how important that number is. I, I know. Hank Aaron hit so many after he was 30 that it's unbelievable. Yeah. We got Nomar Garcia Parra with us. You well, was, started that. to introduce him and then I he stopped we, in well, the middle. I, I, the I, middle I, of don't worry, I stopped too when I saw I, that number I'm being, too. I'm I'm being produced all, here. Hey, all fascinated. Off. It was the <laughs> first time that Nomar was ever cut off. Well, <laughs> let, let me understandable. Let, well, I know it isn't. <laughs> Joe, I was I hit the cutoff man. Give me credit. All right, that's true. Very rare, I should say. Let me make everyone in Boston feel happy. No. Oh my. All right, right there now, we have That's it. now they have shirts like that out there. They're wearing. <laughs> oh I'm beginning to spell it wrong. You know? How, how uh, can all can all you shortstops play the infield for one inning? I, I, that's all I want to know. You and Alex and Jeter. And, I, you know what? I don't know. What, I don't know what Joe has in mind for us. You know. Well, I was told by Joe early in the week that Ventura uh, said that he could play second base. He came in and at, you know told Joe a volunteer to play second base if he needs him. So maybe one of you guys will play third base. You know, you never know. I don't know. Like I, know I, said, I don't know what he has in store. It'd be interesting to be in the infield you know? with you guys together, wouldn't it? Just uh, for a it, it would, I'm sure it would be. It'd be fun. Yeah. You know. But Derek Jeter said no way he was playing second base with his back turned <laughs> yeah. trying to make a double play. I'll tell you what, that's tough. You know, that's tough. We know. You know, that's why we have so much respect. That's why we're always together with our second baseman <laughs> talking it over. Oh my God. Well, here is Alex. I want the display of home runs. Well, I'm I gotta tell you, I mean, this place is not a small ballpark. But well, they're making it look it real small, a road because the way these guys are hitting it. I mean, it's not. You know, it's unbelievable. I mean, Sammy was ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. I mean, that's unbelievable. I remember last time I saw him hitting the home run contest. I was going, you know, break his bat to make it even. You know what I mean? Do something. You know? It's incredible. You got, you got Giambi, you know, he hits 11, and everybody, you know, they're like, no, because it didn't go as far. He hit 11. Exactly. I mean, let's see them. He's hit 11. I'm missing something. He set the bar very high in this contest yeah. nowadays. God, it's. Oh. <clears throat> Pole vaulters only can get over. Yeah, That's kidding. It's incredible. You got the power as a shortstop of your good friend Alex. It's incredible. It really is. It's absolutely incredible. I tell you what, they're, yeah, they're man, talking man. about I all the shortstops here. It's so fun to watch everybody play. I mean, they're all, you know, so I was talking earlier, you know, we had that whole media thing that, you know what, I think it's great for the game. You know, nobody had, we don't have, everybody has a different style. And I think that says a lot about this game. Yep. There's no expert, there's no one way to play it. You go out there and can still be successful. That's what makes it great. There you go. He's one Get on the board. Hello for A Rod. Yeah, he's, it's incredible. It's incredible what he's doing. Well, it is interesting what you said. That they're, all five of the shortstops are completely different type players. I mean, you guys play different. You and A Rod, you and A Rod are similar in a way, you know, that you can hit the ball. Hey, Kenny's 6'3. Have you seen how big he is? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Like, like and then Tejada, you know, you guys are a little different. Yes, yeah, sir. That'll be. Oh, man.
over the MasterCard sign see, again. There huh? we go. See that? Hey, Vizquel is the only real shortstop. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know? and when I first started going to games, exactly. Larry Boa. I, yeah. Larry Boa to me was a big league shortstop. Right. You, play, you, you know? catch the ball yeah. and get a few hits here and there. You choke that, up on the exactly. bat and you slap the ball the yeah. other way. That he's Vizquel is the, <laughs> Vizquel is the shortstop. Right? You yeah. guys are big stars. No, you can. Wait, how many is he at? Ten already? What do you yeah, mean? You know what I'm saying? He's a great player, but I'm just saying that. He, he doesn't hit the 40 or the 30 like you know you guys are capable of doing. Man, He's it's, just such a great defensive shortstop. I think that's the way that just the game has evolved. I see. Yeah. I think you see players from all from every position, every position. saying, you know what? Inside the dugout's just as important as it is when I'm outside mm -hmm. of the dugout. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, look at Mike doing it over here. Nobody, you know, they never talked about catchers doing no. that stuff, and he's just going, true. look, watch what I'm going to do. I mean, you know, and it's a mentality. It yeah. makes it tough. It I want to add yeah. yeah, that Homer, by the way, was 492 way up there. Do you think, Joe, and, and maybe Mike, the Nomar, seriously, kids, not so much Red Sox fans necessarily or Yankee fans for Derek or whatever. Hey, I want to be a shortstop now, even though I'm a big athletic kid. Do you think there's a lot more popularity at the position because of what you guys have done well, just for guys I, of all sizes? I think it shows it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean you have to be, a, if you're a certain size, you have to play this position anymore. You can be any size, whatever, and still play the position you want well, to play. Cal Ripken proved that. Yeah, in fact, it's not so much as pure Sitting speed right behind or, or range, <laughs> but knowing the hitters, playing guys in the hole, playing the count, you know, two strikes, shading the guy up the middle more in the hole more. And you know, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I mean, that's what I'm showing. The big guys are more athletic now, though, and I think that's sure. the key. You know, before you take a Frank Howard, who was a big guy, you know, Hondo. years ago, he couldn't play shortstop. <laughs> See, but you guys, the big players today, are still athletic, and that's why you're able to play any position you want. You know? Frank Howard said, with the Green Monster. Yeah. I used to play Pepo with that wall, son. <laughs> and he did, too. <laughs> and you get a single out of it, right? You can't get two. He used to pick up my bat and say, uh, yeah, it's a nice bat. My grandson can use it. <laughs> <laughs> got under that, is there? He's got to get going here with only a two spot. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he's capable of doing that. You know, once he gets going, it's like nonstop. How about for Alex? Um, See, 42, 42, 41, 52 homers four years before this, and then 27 this year. I mean, so he's on pace to kill that again. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop. Hey, let me say this: if if he only hit, if he is now Canerco is in. If Arod doesn't rally here for four with with the equivalent of two out on the ninth, that's going to be tough <laughs> right now. <laughs> Well, he got under that a little much. See, he, I guess maybe, well, Jason spent time with us. We gave him good luck, so we can't be blamed for that. Okay. That's true. And right. you're not good in it, so you know Well, I'm not in it. Yeah, I can never <laughs> sit down and hang out, you know. I've had, I've, I've had my couple, and I was good. They're like, all right, you can stop now. You're off. Hey, great start for the Red Sox. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, I that. Every year Thank I do, you. too, Thanks. bro. Thank you. Thank all you. right, pal. Have a great all-star <laughs> experience, as you always do. Thank you. I will. Alex Rodriguez. Jamie, I'm not going to swing two in a row. I'm going to take, take it, it, But if you're starting to, feel, you're starting to feel the groove and he starts to see, then let it fly. You know, you know how it is. You can start seeing where he's moving. And Jamie gave him advice, guys, but didn't work, huh? Although he did hit a long one. And now speaking of the, long I got ones, one good. coming up next is Barry Bonds. So what thunder do we have left here in the first round here in Miller Park? Stay with us on the home run group. Welcome back here to Milwaukee to the Century 21 home run derby. Sammy Sosa in with 12. Jason Jambi in the semifinals with 11. Paul Kernerk are now in with six. Richie Sexton on the bubble. He'll get in if Barry Bonds hits less than six. Barry Bonds nominated for four ESPY awards, which you will see on ESPN on Wednesday night, live from LA at nine Eastern at six on the West Coast. And as we always like to say, seven Mountain and three Hawaii. You have to know, you know, when to watch if you live there. Why would he be nominated for so many ESPYs? But how about this season last year? 73 homers shattering McGuire's record. 177 walks, which is obscene, shattering the mark of the babe, and a slugging percentage of 863. Joe, put into words or Mike, I mean, kind of, can you put that into words? It's just 
Words can't awesome, describe. Right. I mean, it was just <laughs> unbelievable when you add all those things together. One of them would have been fantastic. Yeah. Anyone, but he did it threefold. By the way, he already has walked 109 times this year. Ugh. I mean, I've never seen a guy who hits the ball so hard, so consistent, as such a command of the strike zone. Uh, as a hitter, just will not swing at a bad pitch. Yeah, you're right. And what you love is, as you watch and marvel at what Barry Burns is doing, might we remind folks he's choking up on the back, right? Well, a la Ted Williams. Ah. Ted Williams hit 521, and he choked up. Better bat control. All the cameras are out for Bonds, as you saw. You know, he could win the batting title. True. I don't think he's going to. I don't think he can win the triple crown because he's oh. driving enough runs. Well, no one's going to pitch to him. Right. Ducks on right. the pond late yeah. in the game, either. Dusty Baker moving him fourth the last week. Can't hit him third. Barry closed the weekend out with a homer off Randy Johnson and a big homer off Helly. He's 27 at the break, but he's under these. So Barry only with two on the board. The crowd certainly came to see him join Sosa and Jambi in the second round. And he's going to get under this. Is that what you do to Barry, too? I mean, you say, <laughs> hey, said Sosa hope exactly. he pops it up. How here about Barry? So here it comes. Pretty much. Pop it up. I mean, especially uh, depending on the situation of the game, it dictates how you pitch it. No question about it. Right? If you're winning by five, if they're winning by five, it's tough. You don't want to go down by six. You don't want to come back by four. So here's Pudge Fisk. Speaking about knowing how to pitch, it has that Ripken and Fisk and Ricky Henderson sitting right over here behind us. It's a pretty good group. Barry's just getting under it, huh, Joe? Yeah. Well, he, you know what it is? He's not getting the bat to the ball. He's not getting the barrel out there quick enough. He's actually late with his swing. He's, see, he's late. That's what it is. He's not getting the barrel to the ball, and that's why he's hitting the pop up. Plane trouble last night. I know we just got into in here today. They had the night game, as you well know, because you got in here today. Yes. And that's not going to have enough oomph on it, huh? Kind of a surprising development here for the man who, with six more homers, will be at 600. The man who is fourth all time on the home run list, trailing just Aaron, Ruth, and Mays. That's it. Well, this could be the biggest upset since the Dodgers traded Mike Piazza. <laughs> oh, no. I doubt it. Yeah. But. Now presents an interesting final. 594 home runs don't get it into the next round. So a surprise. Barry Bonds did not make it. But for the Milwaukee fans, not that they didn't want okay, to see Barry hit anymore. But Richie Sexton is going to get in. Okay, so the Brewer run. fans will have their man to root for again. See the first guys over to him with the pitchers, Tom Glavin, like, now why are you doing that now? Right? <laughs> exactly. I can't do that. Actually, I, you know, he, he actually, I don't want to say he was tired, but he was not getting the barrel of the bat to yeah. the ball as, as Barry normally does. Now, let me ask you something. Richie Sexton saying, if Bonds doesn't get six, I get in. Do you think he really felt he was going to get in the second round? Well, probably not, but like I say, a big upset. And Barry's a trooper. I mean, he did get in early this morning right. and uh, you know, probably wasn't on top of his game physically, but went out there and nonetheless. So the second round beckons with Sosa and Jambi et al. We started with eight here at Miller Park, and now we're down to the final four. Now we go head to head. We wipe out the last totals. Three against two. So Paul Canerco will hit first. Jason Jambi will hit second. The winner of that will take on the winner of number four, Richie Sexton, and number one, Sammy Sosa. And here are the four that are still have a shot to win $250,000. Michelle Horn with Richie Sexton, Brewers hat. 
Hey, is it the same format? Paul Canerco <laughs> is going to be up first yeah. against yeah. Jason Jambi. You know what? And I and I got to give um, got to give Rich Eisen credit. He came over and said the bullpen coach of the Diamondbacks, Jeff Matusis, who was pitching to uh, Barry Bonds, he's going to be included in all the future pitcher catcher meetings as if he's a member of the staff when they play the Giants. <laughs> Well, he found a hole. Yeah. <laughs> he did. But I think that hole closes up when Barry gets exactly. Some rest. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's like with well, the age-old story. Oh, this is how you pitch that guy. Next thing, koosh. yeah. All right. Next, next uh, theory. Next round, and we go with ten more bats. Ten more outs. I mean. And here's a long shot for Canerco. Who remember? Started this thing, so he sat for a long time. That's talent right there. Sit around for an hour and come off the bench and hit a bomb. But the one thing they do now, they go in the bat room and <laughs> yeah, hit off the batting tee. Soft toss. Yeah, hit off the batting tee or hit in the cage. They get loose, stay loose. Wow. And this is the center. It won't go far enough. Last year, Luis Gonzalez beat Sammy Sosa in the finals, even though Jason Jambi was amazing, headed 14 in the first round. 2000 in Atlanta, Sosa beat Griffey. How about that stance, Mike? Yeah, I was, I was just noticing that. He's on the plate a little bit, but he's open, so yeah. it looks like he likes the ball in, and he just takes the hands to the ball. Doesn't overswing, and that's why he's hitting the ball extremely hard this year. <laughs> All right, it's Cable. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> Joining us in uh, Jason Jambi will be up against Canerco, and then in the second semifinal Dude. is Richie Sexton, who certainly uh, he joins us now and has quite a uh, quite a nine-out rally you had. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, couldn't get into a groove, and I, I started to get a little bit warmed up and uh, trying to be as selective as possible. It's tough, but. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I got some pitches and uh, I drove the ball pretty well the last few outs. You know, when, when you figure, okay, Barry Bonds doesn't hit six, that's the only way I get in. Did you figure you were done? Uh, yeah, I had a pretty good idea that I wasn't going to make it in, but uh, I hadn't planned on it. I was just kind of laying around. I knew somebody would, would beat six, but I, I snuck in there. How about the home crowd for you? Oh, they're great. Uh, they've, uh, they've always supported me 100% since the, uh, since the trade, so that's it. It's been great. How many outs? Four or five. The roof is closing five. here. They, they, they're pretty, you know, some one of you guys might hit that. Oh, if they close, the ball's not going to carry. That's for sure. They're going to, they better keep it open for maybe about another 20 minutes. <laughs> they must expect some thunder thunderstorms. There's a shot by Kinner. Go back, 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 back. Gone. Now, Rich, you've always been, I mean, a home run hitter, certainly with a big swing and everything. But when you're up there at batting practice with guys like Mike, mm -hmm. with Barry Barnes, with Sammy Sosa, did you want it? Okay, here you all-star game, etc. No. This is where I play every day. What am I doing? I don't think so. Well, I don't mean that. I know that you are well earned. No, I understand. It's it's you know you're you're a little bit in awe. I mean uh, you know my first one. I'm very fortunate to have had it in my home stadium. That's for sure. It's uh you know just the little things. You know driving around, staying at home, just the little things made it uh, made it exciting. So. Here we go. Here we go. I'll tell you what, you think this was exciting? Wait until tomorrow. Yeah. The game itself, and you deserve that. To be able to go play in your Fenway. hometown is, is very special. Yeah. I don't know if you'd ever had that opportunity, Mike. I didn't yeah. either. I didn't, you know. And, and to be able to play in your hometown is going to be special. For you. Yeah, wow. it's, it is. It's going to be a good time. Well, here's Paul Canerco. Meanwhile, guys, who is warming up. You know, he, he was a big, can't miss prospect in the minors. Minor league player of the year with the Dodgers yeah. system is. Mike, you well know uh, Albuquerque. He was off the charts in '97, but the Dodgers traded him for hey, Jeff going. Shaw with Cincinnati in '98, and then at the end of '98, the Reds sent him out of the White Sox for Mike Cameron, who then went on to hit four homers in a game this year. But so Canerco came up with big, big. Well, you knew him as a minor in the minor leagues. Absolutely. Mike, right? I mean, I knew. And again, I'm not going to say I told you so, but <laughs> I mean, you could just tell I yeah. told you so. This guy <laughs> definitely was a player. And I uh, just took a little bit longer to develop than some guys. I mean, some guys come in right off the bat and they're hot oh. and have the immediate success. And some guys take a couple of years Seven to outs. feel comfortable. And Paul now is obviously coming into his own. I mean, as far as a, just a tremendous hitter. And as I said, I believe a legitimate triple crown candidate. 
because he's got a great eye and, and knows the strike zone and uh, is driving in runs and, and everything. <sighs> Must be the same with you, Rich. I mean, you came at Cleveland where <clears throat> so many great hitters, hard to find a spot. Here's your home. You must feel like a different ball player than when you were through the Indians. Yeah, most definitely. It's been uh, it's been a blessing in disguise. I mean, you know, when, I, when you're in Cleveland, you know, it's it's a little different because of the winning and whatnot and the tradition that was there. But I think over here, I've got the opportunity to play play a position that I know how and play every day in a lineup, and it's definitely Yo, made me a lot more pitch. comfortable. So, you know, it's just uh, it's one of those things. It's a blessing. Business at hand. You got to go up against Sammy Sosa. Okay. What's your strategy? Oh, good man. luck. Try to hit as many as I can. That's my strategy. You don't think you'll need more than 12, do you? Uh, I might. I might. It might take 12 to get into this next round. The ball's flying right now. Ah! But I will let yeah, you get loose. Right. Okay. They're closing the roof. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Close, That's good luck. Sure. All right, Richie Sexton. Thanks. Good luck. Well, Paul Canerco very quietly with another oh, six buddy. spot for him, and you know, keep it he's always league. up against Jambi. That's not a bad number to put up second time around, right? Uh, well, second time, as you mentioned, I think more of the guys are getting a little tired, a little more fatigued, and it's going to be tougher to have those huge numbers. Going. And that one almost, the roof almost closed on it. Yeah, he almost, right? He almost hit the roof as it was closing. So Canerco yeah, with six and Jason Jumpy will have a shot to better that number and move to the finals. He's up next. Welcome back to the Century 21 Home Run Derby for 2002. Yeah, the roof is closing as they must expect some tea storms in the area. And we'll see if that makes a difference in the home runs here in the second round. Copyrighted telecast is presented by authority. The commissioner of baseball may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and inscriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Don't miss the battle to see which league is the greatest. The best of the best will compete in the Major League Baseball All-Star Game July 9th. Don't miss it. One of those playing alongside Richie Sexton for the National League. And Sammy Sosa will be our compatriot, Mike. 10 for 10, Mike. 10 for 10, Mike. Good luck in the game. All right. Thanks, man. I'm looking forward to it. Again, uh, this is just part of this amazing event. So far, Milwaukee's been a great host. This is unbelievable. People are fired up. They are. Chris Berman, Mike Piazza, Joe Morgan with you here live at Miller Park. The number on the board for Jason Jami to best is six. Paul Conurco, a good job with six to open up the semifinals. If they tie. There's no tiebreaker. Then we go to a we go to penalty kicks, Mike. We, I was we, we, say. we, we have a, a blast off, if you will. We'll explain it if we get to that. But a good start for Jason Chomby, just missing the bullseye. Well, Canerco with a great effort in his first contest. Oh. All right, exactly. yeah, see that's. The sign right there of a little fatigue. That ball got in on Jason, yeah. and that's what was happening to Barry. He was not getting the barrel of the bat out there. Yeah, these guys are going to start sucking the oxygen out of the exactly. park. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> people forget. I mean, you can't yeah. only you only have so many great swings in your arsenal per day. And that's that, it. there's a good one right there. Now yeah, look at Sammy, our first round leader with 12. How many? So but now what you see instead of those 470 foot home runs you're going to see the 380s and the 390s. Right? Yeah. Puny shots. Yeah those little. Yeah. <laughs> little flare. <laughs> That's just fitting that the home run derby. Back. <laughs> so three homers for Jambi. He's going up against Paul Canerco of the White Sox who had six. More effort being yeah. 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 Down one. I if you don't think well. that ball cleared that fence. Scott Rowland, Kurt Schilling, National League, Phillies and D-Banks. That <laughs> one to right center field, back it goes way up high, back, back, back in. Oh, Canada, it almost hit the Canadian flag. He's longer this round than he was the last round. 
<laughs> I got it. You take it's it. right back behind us. Pudge Fisk has a chance. Oh! <laughs> Got a call. It's about punch. I think you just tell by the sound too. Right. I mean, we've obviously done a few of these, and uh, that sound just a little flat. Yeah. Uh, the ones that uh, that do leave have a tuning fork type of <laughs> pitch. There we go. Oh, that went to center field. Is it no, going to no. June? No. Got it? Camera, put that flat. Paul Canerco joining us now. I, I, uh, as we watch with four outs left for Coco. Jason Jumby. Good job, Paul. Hey, thanks. Very First nice. one, I mean. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know. I'm just happy to be put here. Some ball. I am happy to be here. <laughs> you know I am. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of nerve-wracking up there. But uh, I got great BP. I think that's the key to this whole thing. I got that strikes. Is. And, uh, you know, that, that was the big part. You know, I talked to you before, oh. and you had your back turned to the Sosas and the Bonds. As you said, I'm not watching this, right? That's right. I, my whole goal tonight was uh, not how, but how many. Because I knew these guys were going to be hitting balls about five <laughs> times as far as I was. So. And I, I was right. Um, they are hitting some bombs. So this is hitting some balls outside. You're yeah. right there, though. Don't sell yourself short. You're man. two out. You're two outs away from moving to the finals Thanks, here. Yeah. Let's you're watch there. this, Paul. Right. <laughs> One out away. Oh boy. I'm gonna get really nervous. Actually, your second round, did you get tired? Were you as tired? A little bit. Yeah, exactly. I started getting long, getting around some balls. I hit some balls fall. Right. And then I got, I tried to stay back. I jammed on a few. So yeah. it's tough. Yeah. Tough to keep dropping that head out there. Yeah. Start to muscle up and come around the ball. And say, <laughs> well, we have a little suspense now. Back, 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 and way up there in right center. So now, oh. Aaron Stock rooting for her house for Jambi. But meanwhile, this the putting green ball, just in case there's a, a one hole playoff. I'll be honest with you, I wish I was going to the driving range. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like the driving range here. It is here. There's some drivers being hit. If he doesn't hit a homer, you guys get one swing apiece. You get oh a swing, God. he gets a swing. You get a swing, he gets a swing. Oh, if you man. both, you know, the result is different, it's over. Oh, All right. oh go man. Ahead. Go hey. get him. Get loose. So go get, get him, Paul. Good luck. All right. Sorry to tie you up here. Thank you. So this is what we call a swing off. Make it interesting. Penalty kicks. <laughs> I was going to say. Sudden death hole. It, Davis. But if, if the first guy hits one, the second guy gets his swing as yes. well. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't win. Yeah. It's not an overtime it's not like goal. A, it's not really a sudden death. So. How about Chomby hitting two at the end, huh? <laughs> Get loose. Oh boy, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so now one swing each. Maybe I'm the first Maybe ever. Off. Okay. Well, I don't, okay. Swing okay. off doesn't work. I'll, I'll a blast off. There you you like that? Yeah. A blast off. Ooh. Swing off, you could take just one swing the total distance of each hit. Right, so right, if you right. hit a ground ball, you're in trouble. Right. If you hit a fly ball to the track, you win. Yeah, a blast off. <laughs> <laughs> no, the you have to home. hit a home run. Yes, right? we do. Okay, there we go. If they each hit a homer, they come All back. Right. If they each ground out, then they come back. We're in uncharted water. Yeah, this is un. But I, I don't know if I can handle this. Suspense. This is too much suspense. Yeah. So, I mean, you, I mean you've been in seventh games of the World Series. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, with Pudge Fisk right behind us. Exactly. Rose, but this doesn't compare to 75. <laughs> Pins and needles. I mean, my God. But it is exciting. It's like you the Mookie ball. Just because Jim Burton laid one into you. I mean, Wait a minute. Know. Oh, oh no. Come on. Slide piece All right, down I... and away. One of the great clutch hits in history. Slide piece, man. They just went out and raked it. Cal's getting loose now. <laughs> Cal and one of his daughters. Conurco didn't break the oh. bat on it. He may have broken the charts, though. This is way up and yeah, you think I think it snapped. I think he got the bat on. Yeah, he did. But I've seen a lot of broken bat home bat. runs this year. They still go. Look at that thin handle, oh. Mike. Oh. I need a bat. That's thinner than yours. Like, like Frank Howard said. Can't have. So how about this? Really? Now, if if Jambi doesn't hit a homer, uh, Paul's got to use a brand new bat here. 
not I mean and they may not have a ton of his here. Well you bring your own. <laughs> hey, if you go to all star game you bring a couple of bats. Say, he's got to have, backup, you have, to have right? one for the game. A couple Tom Ryan and Aaron Stock very interested watchers of this. <clears throat> the winner stays alive with a chance for a quarter of a million dollar house more. Well, it's going to be interesting to see it because it doesn't look like Canerco has another bat. I saw Giambi bring a couple out. Oh, he's going to have to use another one, huh? Another. Well, no. Oh, no, he won't because Giambi sends it back, 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 and into the finals with perhaps the longest one he's hit tonight. <laughs> Wow, the first ever blast off. And Paul Canerco did well. Jason Jambi into the finals, almost got a, a fan of me and Bobby. I mean, that was a that was a blast. Here's Rich Eisen. All right, Jason Giambi. Were you guessing fastball there? <laughs> I was geared up 3 0. <laughs> And I guess you needed a little drama for you to gain the finals here. I just wanted to give the fans see some extra swings. <laughs> the very first ever winner of a, a swing off here at the uh, home run derby. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Definitely. All right. Jason Giambi in the finals. Let's see who joins him, Chris. All right, Rich. Thank you. That blast, guys, is 488. That was the longest one that he hit tonight. A blast and the blast off. <laughs> <laughs> That's my house. This <laughs> is Aaron Stock. Get that kid in there. Oh. Yeah. Got her, boy. So, Jambi in the finals to face either Sammy Sosa or the hometown hero Richie Sexton. All right, so Jason Jambi is into the finals. With a blast on a blast off to beat Paul Konerko with an extra swing. Richie Sexton against Sammy Sosa. And when Sexton came up, this is how it sounded in Spanish on ESPN Deportes. Vamos a estar empatado. A lo profundo. No, 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 no. That's back, back, back in Spanish. Oh, man. That's <laughs> Ernesto Jerez. Does he still have a voice? That was, remember, that was about an hour and a half ago. That's a great call. <laughs> yeah, that's, great. that's it. My job is done. I've just been fired. There you go. Here's the crown for Richie Sexton, who shall horn from Georgia, alive for a house. And this house. Oh, the rising sun. Right. <laughs> yeah. He is the rising sun here in, in Milwaukee. I don't think that's what they're playing for, Mike. No. <laughs> Although I tell you what, great a, song, free, a free CD of Eric Burden and the Animals' greatest hits will be thrown in. A Very minute, nice. Right? Richie Sexton, 42,200 here. Sell out at Miller Park, looking for him to go a yard. It's a long way up. And he knows, though, he told us, right, with the roof yeah. closed, although Jambi hit it farther, he already was thinking, uh-oh. What kind of number does he have to put up against Sam? No, you never know. Well, that's a good question. I, I think he definitely has to get four or five. Because there's no doubt that most of these guys are going to be a little fatigued. Yeah. But Sammy Sosa, remember, he hit a long time ago. He's Look had this. time to relax, so now he's going back and loosen up before he comes out. Do you, do you think he's serious? Dusting off the towel there? <laughs> Looks like a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the tunnel. He's coming out. That's great. That's Lennox. Yeah, he does. Speaking of rock and roll, I just got to get this in. Sorry you weren't here in time, Mike. Oh, the man. Eagles played for three hours here last night. Oh, well, it was, it was. And we, and believe it, we did take it easy. Yeah, we had three, three-hour rain delays. Sorry about that. Oh, man, you just killed my vibe. Right 
Well, we got Eric Burden in the animals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they were great. Len Frank, Don Henry, Joe Walsh, Timothy B. Schmidt, the boys. Right a show. They're on a Midwest tour. Remember, Sexton began 0 for 4 in the first round and, and, and came on strong at the end. He likes to do it with his back against the wall. As long as one was 480. <laughs> well, does this stay fair? Oh, just What's, missed it. Who got the cause? Wow. Now looking for that groove that he was talking about. Yeah. That's what's interesting. Remember what Konerkel said. He said either you get out in front and get around the ball, or you try to wait a little longer and you're late. Yeah, and that's exactly what we just saw there. He got around the pull that foul, then he waited on that one and he was late. Oh, and when you are tired, right. it's tough to find that because you're always a little bit, uh, like you said, in front or behind. Like that. Oh like that. man, he got he got all of that one back, back up, down, 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 down. <laughs> oh, Tom, what told me? That's what it hit. Yikes. Oh, That's man, cool. that ball had hair on it. <laughs> I'm going to have to differ with what Nomar said that this is not a small ballpark. Because that was a blind drive, and it was right out of here. But you look at the distances. It looks like a traditional right size field. But it I, carries I, well. Yeah, I just think uh, the ball carries unbelievably well. I mean, the complete polar opposite to the place that it replaced. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because I mean, you hit balls there, and they just die down the corners. You could wrap them around the pole, but it's center field, right center. It did not carry that well. I don't know how well they go in April here, right? <laughs> They started to tell a story. The longest home run hit here was Cecil Fielder, but he went 5.02 out of County Stadium and it landed in a truck that stopped on its way to Madison. So ball estimated 25 miles. <laughs> there you That's go. a true story. Man, had to get that in. There's one of those in Crosley Field, Joe, with Ernie Lombardi landed in a dump truck on the highway in Cincinnati. And the toy cannon. Jimmy right. Wynn. Yes. Look at look at Sammy. Well, Sexton hit three home runs with nine outs the first time. He's going to need to do something similar. You would think. Oh, that's going back, 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 and. Incorporate that, Joe. <laughs> you might. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Watch your jab. <laughs> Keep your hands up. Stick and move. Right. Stick and move. Well, here's one home run with nine outs. Definitely needs a couple more. Yeah. Because three, it would be a bigger upset than the Barry Bonds. Yes. Well, there's, oh, there's one of them. Back, 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 and gone. So Richie Sexton turned it on the heat here. Mr. Nine out. Nine outs. Clutch, Mr. Clutch. It's over here. Mike shed the mask. Will you I got please? It, I got it. Now he put a couple up at the end with a four. Richie Sexton with a standing O here in his hometown of Milwaukee, his home park. Go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> se va, se va, se fue. Now that's a classic 
Home run get wraps, huh? Arms extended. ESPN's presentation of the 2002 Century 21 Home Run Derby. Brought to you by Century 21. Real estate for the real world. And in part by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. Cold down easy. Welcome back to Miller Park here in Milwaukee where Jason Jombie's in the finals and Richie Sexton just hopes that Sammy Sosa gets real cold in a hurry. Well again Sammy was so hot the first round be hard to believe that he can't hit four here. He had five over 500 feet eight over 480 524 525 12 502 502. But even if he doesn't win the contest, he's won the fans. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's their hero. And mine, too. <laughs> uh, mine, too. 20 feet, man, <laughs> you know? Goodness. And here comes, as if you guys called it, a prize fighter into the ring, Sammy Sosa. Well, he had 12 in the first round, which was... One of the best ever that we've seen. Third best. Of course, Jason John, but you know, it's not like he doesn't have this down, too. Last year, this year, consistent. So here is Sammy Sosa. Plays ball 90 miles south of here. All of a sudden, you know, Brewers go to the National League. That's a Cup Brewer. is a nice, a nice car ride back and forth. A little rivalry here. So the fans, even though he plays for the opponent, they they you know they like him here. They're, hey, when Milwaukee was American League, you know after the Brit, the Braves were gone, but when they were American League for a while, a lot of Cub fans. That, that was the Cubs of their National League team up here. Some. So let's see how Sammy starts off, guys. Almost like an expectancy in the park. <laughs> there you get quiet a little bit. Oh. A little late. Yeah. Sound like he was going to make a putt. You know? right. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gassed out from yelling the first there round, are. probably, right? <laughs> yeah, we know who that fan's hero is. Right there. Sammy Sosa, 33 years of age, has 478 homers now. Charles Keegan from Londonderry, New Hampshire, is uh, the man who is the newest Cub fan now. Not a lot of Cub fans up in New Hampshire until right now. Open for that quarter million dollar home. What's the capital of New Hampshire? Concord. There you go. Concord, New Hampshire. White Mountains, New Hampshire. Oh, man! <laughs> that one was a white mountain right there. <laughs> or a blue dart. <laughs> you know, Sammy has 56 multi homer games, and the reason I say that, at sixth all time. But it wow. just gives proof that when he gets hot, he's one of the great all-time when I'm hot, there's nowhere to pitch him hitters. Oh. That was a home run. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting here because if he passes Sexton, should he stop is the question. Probably. Yeah. Would you? Yes. Sure. But I don't know if. I'm sure he will. You have to. I mean. Save your energy. Yeah. No if you able to pass him. He goes the other way with this deep to right. Back it goes. No, 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 no. Wow, that was an oddball, huh? <laughs> well, I think it just shows you how strong he is because, I mean, that ball was in on him. He inside out <laughs> down the right field line and it still hit it out. It's like he highlighted out. <laughs> <the Cestula>. Yeah. <laughs> <Cestula>. <laughs> It was a regular rebote. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Back, back, back! That's over everything! That's out the window! There it is! They got 
the ball out there. Shades of Waveland Avenue, huh? Hit me. He did. How about that? Hit me, Sammy, and he gets the ball. Wow. Well, he needs one more. He almost hit the prop stand. <laughs> you can't do that, please. No. And you know the color of the shirts that they're wearing in the National League, you guys look like they belong on props, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that color on a baseball <laughs> uniform before. That, Give that's me a brat. A brat and a Polish. <laughs> Sammy will decide if, there he, uh, if he hits another home run, if he'll continue, but he's got to hit that first. That last one, 506. His sixth 500 foot home run. Yeah. Yeah. Another day at the office. Yes. Yeah. Uh oh. All right. Got five outs. He's one home run. Or he gets to ten outs. And it will be. And this is would be if this happened, guys. Usually a guy in the first round like McGuire at Fenway or Jombie at Seattle. This would be the guys who have hit the most all the way along if it goes that way. Sure. You know? We usually haven't seen that, Joe. No, because Jombie hit the most last year. Yeah. And McGuire the yeah. you know. Six outs. What are the chances of seeing two blast offs in the same contest? I, we may not be able to recover from it. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say we will not have another blast. I'm going to go out on a limb and say here comes a blast yeah, off. I'm, right I'm going out on a limb and say he will hit one. Uh, okay. I'll take that, Joe. I'm going to go with Joe on this one. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we're having another yeah, blast I, off. I think so. No, that's duck cooking, though. That is sleeping. Yeah. Well, a little more nah. suspense here. I'm just trying to keep the viewers, Joe. Oh, that's you good. have to. It's my business. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have figured the odds of two blast offs in the same contest? A double no, I, I blast off. Too, and I... a, a two blast off? That would be an, an Apollo. I, I could. <laughs> a Gemini, at least. Duh. <laughs> Twin, there you go. Duh. You, you know, Apollo's yeah, three. Right. Hey. Of course, we have one in the finals. So oh, 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 my goodness. This is going all the way to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And Sammy's already walking off, so he has decided yeah. that that's enough. That's oh, enough my for me. goodness. How about the ones that Jambi wins on and Sosa wins on, boys? Sammy Sosa just soon. hit another. I'm going to give it 500 plus. That's going to go on the limb. the farthest balls I've seen hit. Period. 518. How do they come up with that? I, we have a, we have a protractor out there. <laughs> that looked like the longest one to me. Didn't it? Uh, I mean, where is this headed? Oh, that was the one out in the stadium. Is this the last one, guys? Oh, Others on the street. street. <laughs> Tell you what, that's pretty good reflexes knowing you can't see anything. anything. Ugh. That's some twerk. Well, the one thing that they all have in common as he flips <laughs> the bat away is you do not see any of them rolling their hands over. I mean, no. all their bats when they hit these home runs in the perfect position, kind of underneath it a little bit. Generating some torque. Yeah. Wow. So the guys who've hit the most and who've hit the longest will blast off against each other for the championship here at Miller Park. This has been a great home run derby, and we should tell you that coming up next, more fun. The 2002 Radio Shack MLB All-Star Celebrity Softball Game. George Brent, Ozzy Smith, Don Mattingly, Peekaboo Street, Dale Earnhardt Jr., all sorts of athletes. Plus, a special performance by the Counting Crows. Radio Shack All-Star Celebrity Softball Game. Following this, our Century 21 Home Run Derby right here on ESPN. Uh, if you see little drops there, you're not hallucinating. They shut the roof, but 
There's a couple of holes, I guess, up there. And we've, had, <laughs> we've had some of the longest thunder, both outside and inside, courtesy of Jason Jambi and Sammy Sosa. If you're keeping track of this, and you really would have to be a stat nut, but we, you know, that is the record: 26 in one derby. And Sammy. There we go. Yeah, there it is. You know what? I got my ball. I'm not going to wait for the next one. <laughs> wow. Mike and Joe, did you roll up the windows on our car? Oh, darn. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> so here we are in the finals of the Century 21 Home Run Derby. Jason Jambi. Ooh, just short. Look at these guys. It's like these are the two guys that came to win it, right? I mean, I know it sounds yeah. dumb, but the way they approached at the plate, weren't they the most serious? Well, and it's, you know, it's maybe it's good because remember last year, Giambi hit the most and didn't get into the finals. Right. Sammy was disappointed because he didn't have a good contest last year. So you think that one might carry, Joe? I think it might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's Aaron Stock from Abensburg, Pennsylvania for Jason Jambi, and it's Charles Keegan from Londonderry, New Hampshire. Online for a quarter million dollar home if their man wins it. They've got so <clears throat> Jason fouls that one back. So two outs here. By the way, that was some serious lightning we just saw yeah, through the window up here. I got a couple of raindrops falling on my head, too. Mike, the mask, please. How well, would we be doing sitting here with all this stuff in the pouring rain, huh? Yeah, I was going to say. So a salute to the, to the roof that closes in 10 minutes here at Miller, Miller Park. Park here. The roof closes and uh, taking this act inside. Jambi making this ball go almost outside. Back, back, <laughs> gone. Very nice. It's a sweet swing. So when you look around, not many people have left. Of course, no one's going to leave right now. <laughs> That's true. We, we have a captive audience, so to speak. But oh, this is this ball can't be held captive. <laughs> Just right of the Did side. You, my goodness. That's about the fourth one he's almost yeah. made someone a million. Maybe Bud is, has it under his seat. I don't know. Do you think the commissioner does? I doubt it. Well, you never know. Uh, he's, well, <laughs> Jambi, I tell you what, these balls are going to bring rain themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> ah. Jason with a full, full. Two thirds of the way to a Moses Malone. Full, full, full. Get delirious. You can, we're getting delirious. Well, I, I <laughs> Once he is getting delirious. Yeah. You know what? How many back, back, backs can you say it's <laughs> two and a half hours? <laughs> that might have a sign. Oh! oh. That just missed the sign again. <laughs> Everyone's checking under their seat. <laughs> We would have free financial advice from A-Rod on that. Third, third run, third. <laughs> four. <laughs> Where to invest at a million dollars, right? You're rough. Well, come on. True. 492 feet was the last one, guys. So his have gotten longer as we've gone along. Oh. And under that, a little bit too much. And the way John, who did Ali use? <laughs> Bundini Brown, the spiritual leader. <laughs> oh, is this a fair? No. Oh. Had too much top spin. See, we haven't seen a lot of that in no. this contest. No. <laughs> but that's what happens when you get tired, as you say, you start to roll it a little bit, yeah. roll your hand. Well, you mentioned Walt Hariniak about two hours ago, didn't you, Mike? You roll it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, man. I don't think Walter would like a lot of these hits tonight. I love no. his home runs. 
It is a home run derby. Head when down we, the we, other way. When we have an opposite field double derby, he, he, you know, we can do that. <laughs> My vote's with Tony Gwynn, lifetime for that. These hits are so amazing. I don't know if you can hear that thunder at home. These hits are thunderous, and so is the weather. Jason Jambi providing some thunder of his own. This one will just miss it. Stay out there. Well, he's even seven and seven. Now that... <laughs> That's later. That's after we're done, okay? I was going to say, did you order for it's the bar? On, it's on me. <laughs> you went out to roll up the windows. <laughs> I'll take care of that. <laughs> seven and seven. Yeah, see? With a twist. And with, with <laughs> a definite twist. <laughs> Jason thinks he's at Yankee Stadium at the court. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. He introduced himself to that thing at 296 pretty well. That's what it used to be. Oh. I saw Mike take one over there about two Saturdays ago. It's Shea, the guy with me coming in. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take it. Yeah. Trust me. No complaints here. Seven homers for Jambi. One out to go. Does he have a couple left? Jason at 11 in the first round. Seven in this round. <laughs> That's last round and seven here. Oh, it's off the wall. But a very impressive final round performance for Jason Jambi with a seven spot. The old hockey stick. Pretty impressive job. 25 homers. Well, it's very impressive, you know, in the third round to get on a roll like he oh did. Oh, my God. He gets good extension here. I mean, he, none of these balls are coming down very quickly. I mean, it. He's staying right at, watch how level he stays his top hand stays right underneath it look at that beautiful. Well, I know the Yankees just acquired some pitching help with Weaver because Willie Randolph obviously is not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I love it. I'm warming up late Mike. And so he has seven homers in the final his longest one was here 492. Sammy Sosa, the magic number is seven to force a final blast off. Eight to win it here in Milwaukee. Don't go away. Well, there's our car, boys. This is what's happening outside. And what's happening inside is some thunder and some lightning by Jason Jambi, who joins us now. Man, I, Mike Piazza, Joe Morgan, Chris Berman, and Jason Jambi, and Consistency, oh, man. Are you, I'm mean, about 200 pounds now. <laughs> the sauna out there. You got anything left? No, I'm done. I'm done. So, uh, you know, now it's up to the manimal to see what he does. <laughs> How about the sounds that he hit? Huh? Oh, he's oh. a straight cartoon character. I mean, what he does is unbelievable. It's like I said, the ball just explode off the oh, bat. I mean, <laughs> like he, and he's just locked in. He gets in there and gets those feet far apart, and it's unbelievable what he does with baseball. Yeah, but you were locked in. I mean, your longest one seemed to come at the end. You know, you almost hit that million-dollar sign about five. I was, times. I was trying to work it out there. Were trying you? to work that draw into it out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a great job, Jay. Did you have fun doing this. I have a ball. I love like. doing it. It's fun. Now, one of your coaches told me that last week, very quietly. Yeah, that home run swerve on in the cage. I was trying. I was trying getting ready for it because they asked me to be in it, and I was trying to lift and separate a little bit. So Willie Randolph is not the new closer for the Yankees, is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For you? He was giving them up pretty good. Today. <laughs> well, here is Sammy Sosa. Jace, you can watch with the rest of us, and it's. It's a base hit up the middle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sir. Yeah. Shilling every ground ball you say, well, it's a 6-4-3 double play. Yeah, he's yeah. over there counting double plays and oh I can get him out up and in, up and in. He's scouting you guys. Maybe yeah. it's better to hit first with a guy like this, Chase. I mean, not to worry about okay, he has X, I gotta get Y. Yeah, you know, I just you know, last time I faced him in Seattle, I did the same thing. I just I hit first and uh, 
Uh, you know, put it on and let, and let him go. You know, actually, and let him go for it. Definitely. You know, let him swing. And like I said, it's fun to watch him hit. It, it really is. Fun to watch you hit too. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Joe. I was hitting wall scrapers. A lot of modesty yeah. around here, huh? Everyone yeah. comes over. I'm just happy to be here. God willing, <laughs> everything will work out for me. <laughs> oh man. I'll tell you what, it's gotten hot in here too. Ever since they closed the roof, it's like a sauna in here. Well, I haven't it's noticed. They, well, I couldn't no tell. By really? The yeah. I'm on my fourth shirt. <laughs> uh, so now our director Jimmy Moore is going to prove I'm on my fourth. Yeah, shirt. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> <Jimmy>. <laughs> reruns. I mean, it 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 sets in thought who plays here that when the roof closed it, it wouldn't go as far, but it seemed like you hit yours farther. They were still traveling, but not as good. Yeah. I mean, there's a few line drives that earlier were, were get staying up, and here they were just kind of top spinning down. Meanwhile, you put up a touchdown and an extra point, and Sammy's got nothing so far. You're yeah. playing some good defense. Sitting pretty. Sammy's got to get in that groove. Bl block that kick. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah. He's like Tiger in the clubhouse. Yeah, just right watching now. everybody else there sweat it out. Said. Starting to keyhole him. Yeah. He's a, he's a master at this thing. He, yeah. he can lock him in better oh. than anybody. The little nervousness in the crowd here now. Hey, did you feel? I mean, you weren't so. You had that great first round last year, and you never got the chance yeah, I, to I, win the whole I thing. I couldn't. I couldn't really get going. I was tired after that, and uh, you know, and of course I faced, like I said, the manimal in the second round. <laughs> But now you've prepared for the contest. Yes. Yeah, I had a strategy. The key. <laughs> you've seen the day where players are preparing for the home run contest. A 15 round. It's an art. It's about. I've been working out. <laughs> had the towel. With vitamins. Sammy's got four outs and nothing to show. It's like for. the whole take your vitamins and say your prayers. Exactly. Very they nice. told me it was hot in here. I went in the sauna, spent some extra time in the sauna, <laughs> taking some dry hacks. Now well, Sammy's halfway to. You're sitting pretty right now, buddy. Sammy's got to get hot. Just like we saw Barry Bonds ever have to. Yeah. Aaron Stock is who you're playing for. Charlie Keegan, New Hampshire, cheering for Sammy. Just taking a little blow here. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait a minute, Tommy. Let me get. He's yeah. bringing in the ringer. Bring in the Wonder Boy. Let's oh, try it. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's it says, back. You know what it oh, says on there? It's, it's out of the natural. <laughs> the Wonder Boy bat. Yeah, he's changing bat. I'm going to have to protest. I'm going to protest. <laughs> he went to see Robert Redford for a moment. <laughs> Hope he put some stick on that right now. So we'll all be eating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're too close for that. I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of oh lost, man. man. I guess this is a stunner more than anything else, guys. Yeah. yeah, but he can get as hot as anybody, though. He can start throwing six or seven out there in a row. Running out of, dare we say, in the Century 21 Home Run Derby, he's running out of real estate. <laughs> I've been waiting all night to say that. No, I, Mike, Mike gives me the nod. I'm coming out in the finals, aren't I? <laughs> We've been so hot with those. I got I got juiced after I heard the Spanish call. Oh, That's what happened. That one's lathered. Na 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 na. Go on. All right, so it's seven one. A rouge, a a a CFL rouge, a single point. <laughs> he almost hit Rick Sutcliffe. And you know you can do that. Yes, yeah. it's okay. You can hit his head before <laughs> anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, yeah, him in that Hawaiian shirt and the MasterCard sign are about the same. <laughs> we've been on the air too long. <laughs> hey, Jason, we've been on the air too long. I think Mike and uh, Chris. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy with seven outs, only one homer. Sammy's got to get hot. Chase, you oh, train for well, it and work for it. You're three outs away. If this was the first I'm round, drop I would you say, Yo, Adrian, get hot. I did it. But this is the third round. A little tough. Yo, Adrian, I love it. You're representing <laughs> Shamrock Beach <laughs> in this thing, huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's going to get under that one. It's got two to go. It's not going to carry. Just two to go. 
You think he needs to stay stepping out of the box? Hold on, it's rubbing off here. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a few of those. Well, no, I just think he's gassed right now. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, you can get is. hot in the first round and hit 10 or 12 in a row, but I don't think you can do that in the fourth round. I mean, you just run out of gas. Well, the thing is, I talked to <laughs> Willie. I talked to Willie right there, and I told him he slowed it down a little bit for me, too. Getting point. So he your strategy, see, look at it, got some strategy. I've been working it. Came yeah. in with a technical <laughs> plan and yeah. executed it to every detail. And that's a good point. Sosa needs six homers before he gets one out, or else we're sitting with the champ. How about that? Oh, nice. Here's your Aaron Stock. You're playing for that young lady from Evansburg, Pennsylvania, Jace. She wins a quarter of a million dollar house. If you I'll take on. it. Take it. And the, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Al, and this could is. be it. It's the center field. Buck. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Jason, Thank you. Jason Jambi is your champion as Sammy Sosa could not come up with it in the final round. Aaron Stock got the house. Jason Jambi gets the hardware. And we had one heck of a night, guys, of long ball. Wow. As that was consistency for a guy that's become one of the most consistent all-around hitters in baseball. Agree, fellas? Well, I think he held up better than anyone else, and he had smart strategy. He said he told Willie Randolph to slow it down a little bit. I think that really worked in his favor. But good to see you, man. It's amazing how this contest Thank just keeps you. evolving. It. Right. It's getting like an event. It's getting like a the U.S. Open. Blast off. Exactly. Right? So here's what he did, guys. That he hit longer as it went on. He told me last night he was looking to get 20. He did that. So Jason Jambi has won it. He, Rich Eisen is with the commissioner. Jason Giambi, you, 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 you try to break through in Seattle, but I guess Milwaukee's your town. Hey, I love it. It was unbelievable, you know, to just to get a chance to participate in again. And Willie Randolph was unbelievable, just tossing him in there. And it was great to put on a show for the fans. And let me introduce to you uh, somebody who you really made very happy tonight. Aaron Stock of Evansburg, Pennsylvania, along with Van Davis, president of Century 21, and John Greenleaf, the executive vice president of marketing of Century 21, presenting Aaron with the key to her new home. Congratulations. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. I just thank God, first of all, for bringing us here and for letting us win this house. It's so awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you. And thank you, Jason Giambi, the winner of the Century 21 Home Run Derby. Back to you, Chris. All right, Rich Eisen, thank you very much. Well, there, Jason Giambi right up there with the big guy, huh? Well, she had a priority straight, but yes, yeah, she did thank Jason, and that's uh, what a great contest. Mike, we uh, we enjoyed it. Thanks that for joining fun. us again. Good luck tomorrow night. Oh, thank you very much. Joe Morgan, Okay. We, we, we see something new every year. It's been fun. Good being with you guys. For Mike right. Piazza, Joe Morgan, Rich Eisen, and all of us here, I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for watching here from Milwaukee, our Century 21 Home Run Derby, the Radio Shack softball game next.